Welcome to C Sharp for Crestron Programming. In this tutorial series, we continue to learn about the operators which we could not cover within the previous tutorial. We will explore relational comparison operators, logical and bitwise operators. Define a basic program to understand the fundamentals about these operators. Test a concept with console application within .NET Platform. Our goal is to learn more about most widely used operators so that we have a strong foundation. As we can see that we have bitwise operators, relational and comparison logical operators, and have assignment operators as well. Bitwise operators can be read as binary and with an ampersand character, binary or with a pipe character, binary XOR with a character of caret, binary ones complement with a tilde character, binary left shift with double less than characters, binary right shift with double greater than characters. Relational operators can be read as greater than, less than, equal to with double equal characters is an equality, greater than and equal to, less than equal to, not equal to, not, logical and with double ampersand, logical or with double pipe. These operators are widely used to manipulate data in very much every single programming language out there. Note that there are additional operators that you will learn as we explore a variety of programming topics. Notice the assignment operators here. If we need to find out more about operators, we can search the Microsoft C Sharp Reference Guide. Let's try to understand some of these operators within our Visual Studio 2019 community version. As we know, that nothing is better than a practical hands-on experience to understand the concept. Let's start our Visual Studio 2019 community version. We should delete the Hello World text within console.writeline method for now. Okay, we should demonstrate bitwise operators first to see how they behave. First, we will define a few variables as an integer value. int x equals 2, y equals 3, z equals 0. Remember, when we say equal, we mean the assignment operator. Also, notice the value of these integers in terms of binary value within the commented section. Then we should define our statements with some logical operators. z equals x ampersand y. Remember, this is a bitwise operation here with the ampersand. z equals x pipe y. This is a bitwise or operation. z equals x caret y. This is a bitwise xor. Let's run our program and test one by one to see the result, then comment out the ones we tested. Let's also learn about bit shifting operators. Z equals X double less than characters shifted by two. y equals y double greater than characters shifted by 1. Let's output these to console window. Console.writeline we pass z value and console.writeline and we pass the y value to it. Let's run it. There we go. Notice the value of x, no longer 3. The new value is 8. Notice the value of y it is no longer 3. The new value is 1. You might be wondering where I can apply these within the Crestron world. How about a password that you want to enter to control the system from a touch panel? Okay, let's design a very basic program to prompt the user for a password entry, and if the password is correct, say something. 
If not, say something else to the end user. OK, we delete the previous code we have done within the main method. Let's define a user prompt to enter the password. How do we do that? Well, console.writeLine with a string text message, please enter a password. Then we should define our password as a string type with the variable password equals console.readline open and close parenthesis, then semicolon. Note that we could use this code for a shorthand notation for a conditional expression to check if the user entry is valid or not valid. But we should use an if and else statement. This is probably easy to understand for beginners. So if the password is equal to Crestron, then we output a message to the user. Console.writeLine, welcome. You may control the system now. Else, console.writeLine, sorry buddy, wrong password, try again. Let's run and test it. If I enter the correct password, I get the welcome message. If I enter gibberish, I get the sorry message. Well done. Let's delete the previous code within our main method. Quickly, we define comparison operators to see how they work. Let's define two integer values. Let's say int x equals 5, y equals 15. We define each one within our console.writeLine method with the comparison operators. So whenever we define comparison operators, they return a Boolean value. In our case, the first one will output true or false. Since x is not greater than y, the output will be false. What about double equal operators? This is called the equality operator. With this operator, we are actually saying x equals y in terms of values. One last thing to mention about logic operators, such as AND, OR, they can be used for combining multiple conditions. For example, if we define multiple console.writeLine methods, something like if true and true we get true. If true and false, we get false. If false or true, we get false, right? If true or true, we get true. In this tutorial, we learned a lot of new operators. We covered bitwise, relational, and comparison, and logical operators. Thank you for watching.